so we didn't, talk, we didn't yeah, get dude. into the transgender aspects of that commercial we just watched i mean that's a whole nother layer we won't even get into right now oh damn you say fabio ain't a real man <laughs> yes yeah, so, yeah fabio peck implants for sure that's a woman damn. Facebook, so it has to be true damn waste critical coming hard at fabio that ain't gonna play <laughs> that ain't gonna play well that ain't gonna play well son oof shots fired shots fired uh yeah i found a video of somebody doesn't seem to be a super popular topic on the old YouTubes, but I found some guy. Found some guy talking about it. What's he got to say about it? And what's sparking me to talk about this is the recent news from a quote unquote prophetess. Uh, she's the daughter of a supposed self proclaimed prophet. Um, and she was recently a guest on the Pete Centelli podcast where they were showing pictures of a replica of the Ark of the Covenant that's sitting in Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, so if we take a look, we in can Mar -a -Lago. see uh, the very cover of this, of the Pete uh, Santelli show, and it's the vice president of the House of Desti Destiny Network. This is Donnie, Don Donnie, however. So I'd like to tell a personal story about this that I can think of right now, while, and we'll continue later. Okay, guys, this is uh, live truth. -ing. This is also, you know, um, a show and tell, I guess, per se. Uh, but so you guys know that I was raised in the Catholic school or whatever. We'd have to do these art projects all the time at school. And one of the art projects that we did, and my mom was the art teacher at the school that I attended. So oftentimes when we'd get these art projects assigned to us, I wouldn't do them. And then I would bring them up last minute to my mother. And then my mother would do my art projects for me usually the night before, stay up all night, and then I would take them into school and present them. And then, of course, everybody in my class would be like, obviously, your mom made that. She's the art teacher. <laughs> but either way, I always had the badass art project. One of the art projects that we had to do Not one time was, was to do the recreation of the Ark of the Covenant. And she did this fantastic one where she got like a big, huge uh rubber made tote spray painted all gold went to hobby lobby got gold cherubins on top of it and then like put rings on the thing it looked it was badass it was badass made like a fake like out of styrofoam carved out the 10 commandment tablets and like engraved in them and painted them and everything it's just like one one great memory from my my childhood but uh, I just wanted to share that with everybody. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, don't make, they don't make women she like is that the daughter, I believe, the eldest daughter of the self-proclaimed so prophet, awesome. Kim Clement. What's up? And um, yeah, let's just let's just take a look oh. and uh, see. What... Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, good to see you, Berserker Bear. What's up? Thank What's you for joining us, sir. I mean, oh, not much. We're do we're doing some live truthering. Uh, currently, we're covering uh, Jewish psyops. I believe is the the area of research that we are attacking at the moment. 